the game in here. Wow. Second video, and we're in about... I don't know. Like... I'm already halfway done with what I thought would take longer. So yeah, you can organize him if you want. But just go in your inventory, use it, and he'll come. Even if he's on like the other side of the world and you're somewhere else and you see footprints, just use him and he'll come. Your chocobo can do a lot of things later on, but I'm not going to let mine do that. I've never done the whole side quest and everything. And yeah. But it, it's, I've seen it, it's pretty cool. Buy some Gissel Green. Actually, no, don't. Let's just ask him what the biggest secret is. So yeah, pretty much the last master this guy was mean, and now we're his basically new master because he just seen us and likes us. <laughs> it's weird. You can dig with uh... Yeah. Pretty much you just pay 60 gil to play a game. 60 gil per minute, so 1 gil a second. You can find treasure. This is how we play. It's called Chocobo Hot and Cold. The music is pretty f like funny and awesome at the same time. So you just dig in the ground, and these are his expressions. Whatever, The more excited he is, the better, the closer you are to him, whatever it is. So like, wow, right there I was like already on it, pretty much. Right there we go. So yeah, I'm not that bad at this game, but I'm not the best either. <laughs> I've found like six things. It's really hard to find them a lot, honestly, because like it's always random, so you don't know where anything is most of the time. Like, look, oh, I just found it randomly. I didn't even get the exclamation point. See, I got some Gissel Greens right there, so I didn't need to get by them yet because I got another set right there whenever I need to use them again. I love the song. It's pretty like awesome, like comical relief at the same time as being. Like I said, I'll do this twice, so... Yeah, hopefully I find the item I'm looking for, because there is an item I want to get. Which hopefully I can get in these two runs. Um, I'll know it when I get... Wow, I already got four on my first try. After four items, you get 10, time, 10 seconds added to the clock and double points. But anyways, yeah, the item that I'm looking for has a really big dig ratio. Not ratio, uh, number. You need to be able to dig really well, or fast. You'll need time, actually, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. That's not it either. But I got a potion, nice. Yeah. Oh, I love that the beak. As his beak levels up, he can dig more. He can knock out more of the, the dig points that something has. So the more points, dig points it has, the harder it is to reach. I don't know if they're called big dig points. I just named them dig points off my head right now. <laughs> So I'll play one more time, and hopefully I find it. Last time I found it on my first try, but it's alright. Wow, again at the starting point? But it's not here. I should have just not moved, shouldn't I? Okay, come on. It's obviously like right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's only two minutes, so it's not like this is going to take a whole video or something. I just want to find this thing. Anointment is uh, for this status I might call trouble, but we don't get that till later. Like, there's no worry about it, bro. Total value. Alright, come on. Gotta find this. I don't think I'm gonna. But if I don't, I'll explain it. Which I feel like I'm gonna find it, but I guess not. Nope. But it's okay. Oh, well I got 10 seconds. It's not really gonna help much, but I'm like chaining this. And I leveled up my beak again. <laughs> chaining as in getting so many things. But I think I just broke my luck. Uh, so close. Alright, well what I was gonna get was a Choco Grab. Um, the first time you find it, it's gonna have like 40 dig points. It's gonna be really hard to get. And it's gonna annoy the hell out of you <laughs> because they're like basically that side that's what the side quest is about getting the choker graphs and uh 
what's it called? Riding Choco to find them. So this is the song with the Chocobo. I'll just ride it over here. This is where I, I was looking for the the map I, where Baku and his crew were. I could never find out. And yeah, oh, how do I get a battle? Come on. Is this another dragon guy? And yeah. I'm already at level 9 for one of us, so that's good. Um, it did some damage to us, so we need to heal. Yeah. You will get a chance to use some tents, and you can use some in the raw map if you want. Yeah. Anyways, I was just saying, as I was saying, I was going to Baku's, the place where I didn't know how to get there. I figured it out. <laughs> it's right here. So this is where uh, Sina was, and this is where you can get one of the coffees. And I probably shouldn't have healed because you can take a sip of the water right here and heal. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, and uh, everyone's healed. So, anyways, there's a treasure chest also Mad Marcus open, and there is uh, Ether here, I think. Is it another? Yep, they're not so good um, thieves after all, hiding their treasure. But, anyways, that coffee, you need two more of them to get uh, the si uh, another side quest finished. Yeah, this game is full of extra stuff. I'll find one of them, but I don't know where the last one is. So, yeah. Now we're gonna walk all the way to Gizmo Loops without Choco, so if I get random battles, oh well. Two of those lizard guys that you can learn Mighty Guard from, and I actually did learn it. With Rick. Good job, Rick. Even though you usually would not do any of this stuff. Um. Let me just heal real quick. I don't want to heal, I don't want to waste too many potions because I know you can heal later and stuff. Yeah. Two, so, I mean, another dragon. And I just realized, I know snack, you need remedies. I thought it casts a skill that's like remedy. <laughs> Alright, well. So you need four remedies at least. For if you have four people in the party. <sighs> that sucks. Oh, the yellow dot on the map is Choco, so yeah, just know that. Those are actually two thieves that we've already seen. Um, they were from the Dali Underground place. And yeah, so, they'll spawn here. There's one more monster we haven't seen, but I'm not sure if we'll see it. And we're almost there. Don't worry, guys. Tell me this is the right way. Yeah, it's right there. That was just two more of those flying bug guys, the blue one. I'm pretty sure I saw them like, when I first got Rick. Anyways, yeah, I keep getting interrupted by these battles, man. As long as we can make it here, I think we'll be fine. Though. All right. So there's one more thing I want to talk about. Um, Rick, he once he eats stuff and learns a skill, there's some monsters that give the same skill, but you can't. Like if you eat them, they'll just say like they taste bad. Basically, I might do it one time just to show it off. Yeah, most of the eating I'll do off screen. So you guys can know. So these are like soldiers. In the oh man. It's okay. You didn't do anything. I sure hope Lanny didn't come here. Let's go. Notice how he only looks at Kyo. That's because, um, it's possible that you might not have Rick, so. Yeah, most of these cutscenes could happen without him here. Like, he'll say one or two things. But, I didn't cut to get into the level, to level 10 because you're close enough. One level down isn't that bad. Plus, you get a lot of monsters there. Hey, are you alright? We're here to help. We're on our way to Remisia. Hey! I'll protect him. Don't worry. 
Um, so these bells you can use for these doors. If you ring them and they open. It's not used that much. It's used for, this is the only place it's used in, in Bermesia. Um, that's it, I think. So the black mages are like under control. These are bad black mages, not the ones from Dali. Oh no, they killed him. <laughs> How does he not know who I am? He's so awesome. No, I'm just kidding. Oh great, they're trying to kill me. So these are just black mages, which I will also cut out. Um, but later there are event battles which I will keep in. Because of reasons, because event battles are different than normal battles. These black mages aren't powerful, they can cast like their level 1 magic. I don't know why people call it level 1 magic. That sounds so nerdy to me, even though, yes, I am like a nerd, but still, I don't know, I don't like it. They're pretty tough, they have some good attack. You can't eat them, because they'll just say taste bad or whatever. Sometimes you can't eat stuff like bosses, obviously, so yeah. And just attack them straight on. Use cast some magic. So as you can see, Rick's damage didn't look so good there. Well, that's because uh, his damage range ranges very highly. So like, I don't know. It's a really high range of damage for some reason that he does. Like he'll do 200 something one time, and then the next time I'll be like, not even 900. I don't know. It's so weird. That's why you usually use blue magic. So, I would consider him a magic caster. More than a fit. I, I would also consider him physical. And let me just take on this mage. Oh, yeah. Uh, I should have started the commentary already. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty. Oh, yeah, you get the bell. Oh, so I guess you had to kill that mage. I thought you could run away. Nah. Let's check him real quick. Alright. Um. Don't believe there's anything down here. Go through this left one first. It's definitely better. Um, don't go through that middle one. That middle one looks like the best one to go through, right? Well, you're not gonna go through there. The reason is because um, that one you miss a secret if you go. Through. No, you don't miss a secret. It's just easier to get a secret if you go through the other one to the right. Or something like that, I forget. I don't know. I don't think there's really a difference, honestly. It's just faster the other way. So these are just skeletons. You can't eat them. Well, you can eat them, but they don't give you anything either. They can cast thunder and use these knife attacks. So... It's better to just... just um, be on the offense, mostly. Just try to knock them out fast. Not really a tough question. Yeah, they're just like normal monsters. They're annoying though. Honestly, like, I don't know. For some reason, they I don't like them. Um, alright, what else to talk about? Oh, yeah, I mastered some stuff. Hmm. Did I talk about the coral ring real quick? Uh, how it absorbs thunder? There. Yeah, absorbs thunder. <laughs> Might as well say that. Over here is a secret. Bronze vest, which we should equip to Zidane. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm sorry I always go into this equip mode thing, but I always like to check it for some reason. Take off protect curls and put on jelly. Oh wait, you can have this on. Alright. <laughs> Take keep protect curls on. It doesn't even really work. Like half the time, I don't think they coded that right. Because if I'm right, when it's when Jenny gets hit, she's a girl, so it should protect her. Um, and yeah, but I don't know. These are B things. I don't even know what they're called. Either. Like I said, I don't know any names. They can cast Berserk on your characters. It's a skill called Buzz, but it 
counts as berserk. Like, makes your character berserk. 